Um, Jane, every time when we, have, when we have a guest on the Insider at Home, we ask them to bring a exercise, one exercise. You didn't bring one, you brought three. Um, and at first I thought that you were being creative, but there is also um, a very good motivation why you brought on three exercises. So we'll go th through uh, all three of them in our tr uh, tips and tricks session. Let's have a look. What did you draw for us as first exercise? Yes, so I draw for you a first exercise. It's a small motivation for rider and horse that we do at home actually also now during this period to building up rider, horse, abilities and so on. So we have actually together eight bars. You put them on the floor. You have a diameter from the one bar to the other bar of 12 meters or if you are standing in the center of the circle, it's six meters down to the bar. Yeah. You put two bars next to each other. And actually then the rider can start his exercise. He has an inside circle where he can counter in and where he can do the exercise with three strides and four strides. This exercise he does on left hand and on right hand. Mm -hmm. Then we go on an outside circle, actually the same thing, you do it on left hand and right hand and you have also two options, you count there your four strides or five strides between those bars. The goal actually of this exercise is to work on the direction together with your horse, that you get more comfortable to get in other exercises then to control your horse between the strides you want to do, to get some impulse of your horse and to get a balance of your horse. And once you manage to do this very well, I think we can go a step forward. So just understand, the, um, the poles are on the ground. Those are not fences. No, exactly. These are not fences. These are rails, really poles on the ground. They are three and a half meter long. Yeah. And you just put them on the bar, one next to each other, with a diameter of 12 meters. Um, and do you, do you move from one circle to the next, or do you stop and then go to the outside circle? I always say, if a horse does something correctly and he is very concentrated on doing this, just leave it, pet your horse, giving a breeze, tell him, okay, we just take a walk, forget about it, and then we start again. We go into it again, maybe on right hand, we change direction, then we go again on a nice walk, we go outside, forget about the exercise, retake it again on a wider circle. It doesn't need to be stressed, you know, because a horse cannot give you all this concentration on 20 minutes and being there and you need to. I think it's very important to play a game with them, to just have a nice conversation together. Super. Uh, next part in our conversation is exercise number two. Now, it took me some time uh, to figure this out. Uh, okay. I, I see fences, I see verticals, um, but they're not straight. What, what, what did you build here? Yes, so now after our first exercise, we go already in other exercise, a little bit more complicated. We have actually straight lines mm -hmm. with three fences on our straight lines who are built in a diagonal. So to build this line, you need six wings and three bars. You need to put the wings 11 meters from each other and the second line nine meters like you can see and on the opposite side the opposite meters yeah then let's start actually this exercise together with our horse the first one and the easiest one is just count this line slightly inside jump over the bar do two nice strides, jump over the bars, and another two nice strides, jump over the bar, out. And you come in from right hand, left hand, so right leg counter, left leg counter, and you get a little in, into this exercise to change the leads. How high do you have the fences, approximately? Well, you can build up also for five fences, but I actually prefer three, four is enough. 
And and the height? How high? The height is okay that you do this not more than 50 centimeter high. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just exercise, you know, it's gymnastic. Get them supple, get them happy, get them building up their muscles and moving their backs. Very important point because <laughs> this movement, <laughs> otherwise you need to call the vet and you say, oh, my horse is pain and blah, blah, blah. No, I think all this you can adjust with exercises. All right. So you have the straight line, but you also have the curved line. Yes. Then we have another line, more complicated. So a curving line, getting into this line from left knee counter, asking a flying change over the pole in the middle. You're going on a right leg counter, pushing out your horse with your inside leg against your outside lap rein, curving this turn, getting over in the middle over the next bar, asking for the next flying change, bringing out your horse again with inside leg, outside leg, and so on. This exercise you do with doing three strides there inside. Okay. So you curve this line with three strides and soften your lines. And all this actually is very important for the flexibility of your horse and the rider, actually both together, to control your horse and also to find the right coordination of your horse. And this is very, very important for the horses, for the rider. The coordination is a must for our sport. Okay, so we started with a circle. We've taken it um, over um, three fences um, who are not in a straight line, but they are in a straight line, but the fences are not straight. And then um, the third step is, um, is something much more technical. What did you build here? Yes, it's, totally, it's not totally different because we are working a little bit on the same ability of the horses. Mm -hmm. But we put on a line, on a curving line, eight cavalettis. They are not higher than 40 centimeters. You build up an in out of three meter yeah. and then a line to the next in out of nine meter. And you build up actually four times in out. So going over this line, you come in from a left lead counter in out going with two strides to the next in out, two strides to the next in out, two strides to the next in out, and so on. It's a curving line because we try to exercise more again the ability, the locomotion of our horse. I love this exercise because you need to do it on very slow fences and very relaxed jumping to change also in this relaxed jumping the direction. Right leg, left leg, right leg. And you can do it in however direction you actually want. And the other part that I actually really like is that I can improve the locomotion of the behind legs and front legs of my horse. And I also do this with horses that I have some problems for two strides combinations, for example, in the shows. It helps me to give this coordination. Uh, what, what do you mean exactly with, um, if you would have difficulties with two strides, do they get too, too fast through the combination or, or what, what, you you, know, what, what can you improve? It's difficult. It depends the horse. It depends the horse because the very important thing is that they need to stay steady. They need to go on their behind legs and to push out in the right moment in the two strides combination and to stay calm there inside, to go down, to collect each other together with horse and rider. It's very difficult. You cannot just go in a one meter 60 course and think, okay, we go in and we go out and it's much more difficult, you know, and uh -huh. it's also very difficult to explain you this feeling because I think this feeling you need to feel a little bit in yourself together with your horse. But I know that this exercise with the horse that I have a little bit problems with the two strides, I do it very often. And for him, this exercise makes him the normal combination at the show more relaxed, more easier, more comfortable. 
Sounds very good and very interesting. Uh, three exercises, I think, that can suit many of our fans, those that are um, uh, running for pleasure or, or just for fun at home or those that are starting to compete or are growing up through, uh, through the ranks. Everybody can take something away from these exercises. Um, I Jane, thank you very much for taking the time um, and to sit down with us. I know that you're very busy in La Madonnina. I know that you've been through a very tough time as well um, in the uh, Corona period that uh, you and your team had to take care of all those hundred horses uh, yourselves that nobody was allowed to come. So uh, on behalf of the entire team, we really appreciate that you want to take uh, the time and sit down and talk to us. And I hope our fans have enjoyed it as well. Thank you very much. And we cannot wait to see you out on uh, the shows again with us on Global Champions Tour and Global Champions League. And of course, with Noah and your husband, Inyas, alongside of you.